but I would say like as far as you know advice and if people are getting started with affirmations I think just pick the things that um, you know you want to focus on in your life if that's your health relationship finances and when you write an affirmation like let's say my affirmation is like I am financially abundant I have all the resources around me I need right like that's that's what I love to, to say to myself think come from a perspective of you already are the person like let's say you want to become somebody you already are that person you have it within yourself it's just unlocking that and it's just sometimes it's it's getting past the um, you know the the limiting beliefs you have on yourself perhaps things that people have told you in your life you're not good at you can't accomplish you know you won't be able to do that it, affirmations are a way for you to become who you truly are it's not like you know you're like striving for something hard and unattainable you already are that incredible person affirmations are just helping you unlock that version of yourself and move past some of the barriers that you or your other people have kind of put in your way I feel like there's like that saying that's like what whatever you feed grows and I feel like affirmations is like an incredible way to do like positive reinforcement about the, the self-identity that you have holding or that you hold about yourself and so I feel like um, by using positive reinforcements and practicing positive affirmations you're like able to rewire your brain in order to see the positive in every situation and allows and it allows yourself to give yourself the benefit of the doubt to give yourself um, the auto the benefit of having auto suggested good things about yourself that you believe in so that you can move forward with faith and confidence in yourself in whatever area of your life that you are trying to make progress I love that we talk about the whole negative brain bias mm. and like the sciences aspect and this gives you that constant rewiring Mm -hmm. of that negative brain bias that we just kind of default to. Totally. And I noticed in everything you just said, it's like present moment. Mm -hmm. It's not in the future, I will be this. Mm -hmm. It is all right now. Mm -hmm. I am this. And so it seems like there's something, if you're new to affirmations and creating them, making certain that everything is in the present tense totally. and not in the future tense. And I love what you said about what advice would you give a friend? Because all too often, we don't do that. We don't, mm -hmm. we treat ourselves worse than we would treat anybody else. Mm -hmm. And so one thing I noticed in the app is it's very focused on self-love as a category in there. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can tell us a little bit about some of the categories you have in the app and how you came up with those categories. Because there are some very strong categories. And self-love, I know we have some of that within our own organization. Mm -hmm. Because for us, that's fundamental. You know, you have to start with loving yourself. It's part of our theme for the month, like authenticity. Right. You have to get to that knowing of who you are and how you're going to show up. And positive affirmation is such a wonderful tool for doing that. So if you can talk about some of those categories and why it's so important to, okay, if I'm going to treat somebody else this way, I have to, at a base, treat myself this way. I have to be that kind to myself. Totally. Yeah, I mean, I'll just, I just wanted to add, I love everything that you're saying. I think you said it perfectly. Um, I think that there's like an aspect to having confidence in yourself like when, in, when you don't love yourself you really can't love other people like if you lack the confidence in yourself you begin to adopt like a scarcity mindset about everything and in, instead of seeking to build other people up you're so focused on you you're begin to be too focused inward or you're so focused on the, how am I comparing with other people that you miss opportunities to build other people and be that type of person to seek um, opportunities just to share love and be kind to others and so I think that that is a fundamental step in um, self-development is being able to love yourself because then therefore you can go and love other people if that makes sense mm -hmm. but we have lots of categories in our app and I'm, they're constantly growing I'm constantly writing new categories and we kind of just look at them as we go but um, the self-love one was a really really big one for me I remember I specifically remember I feel like sometimes I'd even cry writing these affirmations I'm like so many people need to hear this and they like don't understand how much value they hold within themselves. Um, and I feel like I've been on my own, I've, I've struggled with a lot of mental health, especially postpartum with, <laughs> we have two kids, so postpartum with both of them, um, anxiety, depression. And um, I feel like just the words that 
I've written, that Jaden's helped me write, and the words that um, are available on our app just have such power to like uplift people and help people see the light when perhaps they're struggling to see the light.